With less than two months before early voting, you can count on seeing a lot more political ads. Oh, yeah, a lot of money going to be spent. That includes the first ads for the biggest toss-up congressional race in the state. A daughter. This is my dad, Wiley Nickel. And a wife. That was the most thoughtful and loving husband. Setting similar tones, but with different messaging. And that's why I'll stand up to the extremes in both parties to get things done. Democrat Wiley Nickel says he'll not only stand up to the far right, but the far left as well. Political scientist David McLennan says that's easier to claim when there is no incumbent, which is the case for the newly drawn 13th Congressional District. And we know that Congress as an institution has got low approval ratings, so it's a pretty tried and true formula run against Congress, run against the extremes in both sides. During the primary, Republican Bo Hines ran hard on Donald Trump's endorsement. Bo Hines for Congress. But Trump's name is not even mentioned in Hines' first ad for the general election. I know Bo's heart. He's a champion fighting for good jobs and small businesses. Because he got the Trump endorsement, before the primary and he spent his entire campaign talking about the Trump endorsement, it'd be harder for him to move to the center, which is what tip people typically do during the general election. And not being in the center is exactly how Hines is portraying Nickel. And Bo will protect North Carolina values from Joe Biden and the radical left. Which is what McClinton says the Nickel campaign anticipated. Like increasing funding for police and cutting taxes for the middle class. It's Probably a formula we're going to see played out time and time again, from Beasley to Nickel to many of the other congressional candidates across North Carolina. So, so speaking of former President Trump, the big question now is, will we see President Trump campaigning in North Carolina right. for Bo Hines or Ted Budd? Will we see Joe Biden in North Carolina campaigning for Wiley Nickel in the 13th District or Sherry Beasley? It's a tough question to answer because you have to think about the 13th. The mm -hmm. reason it's such a toss-up is it's nearly evenly divided between Democrats and Republicans. And can either of those two men be a liability when you're trying to get moderates in the middle to right. vote one way or the other. Guess we'll see what happens. Yeah, we are. All right, Russ, thanks. <laughs>